Hello everybody. So I'm doing an updated video on how to get onto iReady and because we're doing our diagnostic text testing this week um, for reading and for math. So on Wednesday you are going to do the reading I ready test and on Thursday you will do the math I ready test so I'm gonna tell you how to get to I ready first and then I'm gonna show you how to log into I ready and then um, show you what to click on once you get there so in first grade when they were logging into I ready they would use like pictures or a code in second grade they don't do that it's a little different so I'll show you how to do that so if you start off on our second grade website the home page up here in the corner you'll see home and you scroll down there's student sites at the bottom and I ready is right there if you click on that iReady comes up. So that's one way to get to iReady. If you cannot get to our website for some reason, if you just go to google.com and you type in iReady, the first thing that pops up says log into iReady and that is what you are going to click on. So you'll click on log into iReady and that also brings you here. So you have two different ways to get there. Um, once you get there, on back to school night in your little baggie, there was a thin strip of paper, and on that paper, that is your iReady login. But if for some reason um, you lost it, can't find it, or whatever, their username is going to be their first initial, their last initial, and then their month and day of their birthday. So Ashton, Ashton Jennings, let me use him as an example. So I'm gonna type in his first initial A, his last initial J, and then his birthday, which will be 0607. And then you don't put in the year for that. For the password, it's P-L-E-S. So P-L-E-S for everybody. So it's first initial, last initial, birth, like the month and the day, and then you have your um, password would be P-L-E-S, okay? And if for some reason that's not working, you can text me on Remind or call and we can get you that iReady password to you. Make sure it says Kentucky. If it doesn't say Kentucky, it won't let you in. And you will click go. Choose a subject. All right, when that pops up, it'll say choose a subject. So whenever you click reading. on um, reading, reading, Right now, it says there is no work assigned. What will it, it will say? You have no you, work assigned. Sorry. Please check back later. It will say diagnostic test or test, and you click on that, and you'll get started on that as soon as you see it, okay? Try to allow some time to finish that. Um, it should take, if they really take their time and try their best, about an hour. It's pretty lengthy, and like I said, it'll start off really, really difficult for some people, and it'll scale back, so don't get freaked out. If they're really struggling, just tell them, do your best, make your best guess, and then it'll scale it back for them. Uh, sometimes the first couple questions will be really hard, and then as they answer, it will just keep going back and keep going back and keep going back till it's where they need to be. And if it, it's too easy for them, then it'll keep getting harder. It works both ways. All right, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you all.